This is day one of Advent of Code 2023, and the challenge is called Trebuchet. Something is wrong with global snow production, and you have been selected to take a look. The elves have even given you a map. On it, they've used stars to mark the top 50 locations that are likely to be having problems. You've been doing this long enough to know that to restore snow operations, you need to check all 50 stars by December 25th. Collect stars by solving problems. Two puzzles will be made available on each day in the advent calendar. The second puzzle is unlocked when you complete the first. Each puzzle grants one star. Good luck. You try to ask why they can't just use a weather machine, not powerful enough, and where they're even sending you, the sky, and why your map looks mostly blank. You sure ask a lot of questions. And hang on, did you just say the sky? Of course. Where do you think snow comes from? When you realise that the elves are already loading you into a trebuchet, please hold still, we need to strap you in. As they're making the final adjustments, they discover that their calibration document, your puzzle input, has been amended by a very young elf who was apparently just excited to show off her art skills. Consequently, the elves are having trouble reading the values on the document. The newly improved calibration document consists of lines of text. Each line originally contained a specific calibration value that the elves now need to recover. On each line, the calibration value can be found by combining the first digit and the last digit in that order to form a single digit number. For example, 1 ABC2 is 12, this string has 3 and then 8, so 38. This one has 1, 5, 15, this one has 7, so this one digit is the first and last number. Consider your entire calibration document. What is the sum of all the calibration values? Okay, let's get started. So for this year, I'm going to be doing it in Python instead of C Sharp because at the time last year I was using C Sharp for work and now I'm using Python, so may as well use that. So I've got it set up, got the file in here with the input and just reading it and adding each line into the input. So if we go back to here, okay, what is the sum of all calibration values? So we'll start off with values equals list then for line in input we will then do uh, first equals negative one, we'll do last equals negative one, then we'll do for car in line and we'll just do if car in we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just to make it easy first equals int car and then we will break from that loop and then for this one we need to do in reverse order so what we'll do is the same thing here but reversed line and we will do last and then once that's done we'll do values dot append actually looking at that again we don't need to make that an actual number it just needs to be a string so we'll just have the character value and append first plus last and then this will be then we want to convert that to an int I think then once those are all in here we will want to output what will so that done we'll now want to print it out and we can do sum and put the values in the list into there so if we now do python run zero one we've now got 54,601 see if that is correct and that was correct so quickly go over that again so open up the input file so we've got input which is a list each item in that list is each row we then iterate through this so going here we start off with this line we then do four character and line so each character so n i n e 9 we iterate until we find a character that is in this string which is just 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then we set the first character as that now for this one, we are reversing this line, and we're doing the same thing again, but going backwards, so then that'll get to number two. So once we have both first and last, we are combining them together, but because we've saved them as strings, first is nine, last is two, combining them together as strings makes them into 92. Then we're converting that into an integer. Then once we've got all those values, we're just summing up all the values that are in the list. So now that we've got that, let's go on to part two. Your calculation isn't quite right, it looks like some of the digits are actually spelled out with the letters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 also count as valid digits. Equipped with this new information, you now need to find the real first and last digit on each line. For example, 2, 9, originally this would have been 1, 1, but now it will be 2, 9. Okay, so you need to go through and actually look for the words. 
Okay, so I've split it up into two functions, part one, part two. So what we'll do, create num words, which will be a dictionary. So one is one, and we will go through and add all these in. Okay, we've got all those now. And we'll start off by copying everything here as a starting point. So we'll do if character in this, and we will do elif. What's the best way to do this? So we've got the first character, but then we need to look ahead for this. So we will change this to enumerate input, and then that returns, and then that returns index line. Actually, no, we don't want that. Though. We want that for this section. So I will change that. We want current index. And how will we do this? We'll do for not elif. That should be else for key in num words dot keys. We'll do key length equals len key. Then we'll do if index plus key length is less than la length of line we'll then check and if it's then we substring so if uh, line I think this would be index key length equals key then we do this part I think that's how that would work so I'll just copy and paste that here for simplicity and let's see if that works it's probably going to give us an error, which it did, because I forgot to remove that parentheses. But I do expect it to not work properly. Okay, it gave the same number. So that means this check isn't working as expected. So let's see. So this one should come up straight away as 9. So we'll add some print statements here to debug. So do index key length. And we'll do line index like that. And for the sake of not having it run multiple times, we'll just exit straight away. Let's see what that does. So that did work. And if this okay that it broke out of this loop so we need to do if first break that's how we'll do it now and we will do the same thing here if last break and I forgot to change that here so now let's run it see if it's working properly which it didn't invalid literal for int and z oh that that's because I forgot to change this so this should be now we'll do key value in num words items and we will do first is value and we will copy this to here and do value again so I think that should work run that nope still an issue so we'll just first do print first last see what's doing hmm I'm not sure why it's not working oh that's right it's meant to be a string all of these well, it's not meant to be a string, it's just I've got it set up with the assumption that we have the new the numeric value as a string. So now we will rerun that. And we have a new number, 54,789. So we'll see if that works. That's not right, it's too high. Okay. I'm not sure why that wouldn't have worked. But what we will do, we will print values and we'll try, take a look and see. So it's like 9, because that one didn't work at all. Did I forget to do... No, that's still reversed. So the first one was 9-2, but it's coming as 9-9. Well, 9-2. So that didn't work. This one should have been 7-3. So I must... I feel like I've used the wrong value somewhere. Or variable. And it seems to be on the second one where it's gone wrong. So first... Using first correctly there. Last... For car, in reverse line. Oh, actually, that might be... I just saw it there. I did did enumerate here, but I didn't do it here. That is the issue, I think. For line, enumerate. So when we're on this one for the reversed one, it's still line, but this one should be li uh, length of line minus index. Do that. So it's reversed. So let's just run that and see if it does anything. That's wrong. Forgot to do this one here. It should not be doing reversed. Negative one then enumerate on that. Got the same values. We will print values again just to see which ones are missing up. So 92, 
That worked. 73. Well, that's hard to see if it works correctly. 9. Okay, those numbers. This one, 7. So it didn't work there. Reversed. And for the reversed one, we will print if line equals this. Because we know this one's not doing it correctly. It should be 7, 1, but we're getting 7, 7. Now we just need to see print index. Actually, a better thing to do is just do this. So what is that coming up with? And that needs to be above there. Ah, okay, I forgot to do this part of it. Linky plus key length, then index. Index plus this. Let's see if that works now. 541111, that sounds about right. So I'm pretty sure that is less than what we've been getting before. So back to day one, submit this for challenge two. And it's still not right. Okay, what we'll do, we're just gonna put these into our inputs as well. I need to remember to remove this when running properly, but we'll run it. Why did that not work? Okay, don't know why that didn't work. We won't, we won't manually do that. We'll just go into here, and we'll change input equals to this. So let's see what the test input gives us. So it gives 189, which is very wrong. We will add the print values to here. 21, 12. Okay, so it's the backwards one that's not working. That got 18. How is that possible? Or 1, 2. Ah, oh, okay. So that's a good help. It is definitely this one which is not working at the moment. So what's the difference here? So if line, we're doing len line minus. Ah, oh, I forgot to do the plus here. So it should be this, I think. 20. Still not working. Although this one changed 76. Did that? That was correct. So it went from 77 to that. So that fixed, did fix that one. But it's ones which are at the very end which aren't working now. Well, this one should be. They might need to both be less than or equal to length. Okay, that didn't change anything. You know what? We'll change it here. So index equals then line minus index. Just so we don't have to have all this here. So let's run that. See if that changes anything. That somehow went to 11. 1 1. Actually, maybe a better solution for this. So, first, what we'll do if not first, first equals car, if not first, first equals value, but we can just do last equals car for all of these. Oh, value. Like that. That definitely didn't work. Not sure why. Oh, right. No, remove that. 192, was that correct? No. 76, 14, 42, okay, 29, so that one still didn't work. Okay, but why? Wait, I forgot a comma there. Did that break it? Okay, well, looks like we've now got it working for that. So we'll remove this, use the actual input. We will now run it and see if we get the correct value. Okay, that is less than the last time, so hopefully that is the case that this is correct. And we have now completed part two for day one. So that is the first day of Advent of Code 2023 completed. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more Advent of Code 2023 videos.